Today is International Children's Day. Uh, this is anyone really under the age of 18. According to the UN Convention on the Rights of the Child, this part of our citizenry has uh, the right to special care and assistance. South African national laws also provide children with special protection and that with good reason. Today, Morning Live in the SABC in general, we'll have special children's focus as we speak to different sectors of society that interact with children. First up on Morning Live, we're joined by William Bird. He is the director of Media Monitoring Africa, talking to us about the portrayal of children in the media. It's great to see you, William. Thanks very much for coming in. Thanks for having me. So, <coughs> as a work of, of media monitoring, um, how, how do you sort of see children's <coughs> stories being covered and, and actually track those stories? So, children account for 35% of our population, but we see them in roughly 8% of the news. So, there's a dramatic underrepresentation of them. And it's quite an extraordinary thing, given that we, in Child Protection Week and it's International Children's Day, mm. that children generally don't really feature until usually and unless there's something pretty hideous and horrible. So this week, uh, I think anyone who's been reading the, 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 the media would be quite disturbed or watching it to see the amount of stories about uh, the abuse of children. And while that's well and fine and we need to talk about those things, I think that if we're serious about realizing our rights, we need to be saying, how do we start to, to switch that thing around instead of moving and looking at at the abuse and just all of the the, the trauma we need to look at protection okay. how do we pre and prevention uh, how do we stop children from being violated and and what are the different stories that that arise in those particular circumstances so the stuff about the social development and the social welfare grants that in very uh, to a large degree is actually should be a children's story because of course the majority of our of the poorest of the poor rely on that uh, on those grants Absolutely. and the majority of those in fact are children so yeah. we need to be saying well what does it mean if they don't get them what does it mean in terms of how they are given their their basic start in life what do we what does early childhood development mean and how does that in fact prevent violence what are the patterns that we need to look at to say how do we move away from the kind of society where now it's uh, you know we have so many children being violated to one where we start to protect and, and, and nurture our young, yeah, young people. Yeah, very much so. And, I mean, it's, it's, it's quite interesting because, you know, you say this week people are hearing all these stories. And this has been a very disturbing week for me mm. for some of the things that have come out uh, on this very show with regard to children and the, the, the different angles as to how our children are treated and the abuse of children and they are not cared for adequately. And it, it just, it, it's a string of events mm. that are just making it worse and worse. But if we, if we have to look at the coverage and the portrayal of children in the media, what is it? I mean, you say negative, negatively. It's not necessarily always a good story or ever a good story, really. So what, what, what are we looking at? So generally, the, the <clears throat> trends with children, and this is unfortunately an international thing. South Africa is not unique in this. So if you look at other parts on our continent or indeed even in uh, so-called developed European states, you'll find that children are underrepresented. So we generally don't see them. When we do see them, we generally don't tend to hear them, which is, goes back to that old Victorian idea of mm. children should be seen and not heard. Well, yeah. generally, we don't listen to them. But that's also a political thing because these things are very much about power. So the only times we tend to see them or hear them are when their rights are being violated in the extreme. Of course, there, there are exceptions to this, and this is one of the reasons why we have the Isu Elisle, which is the Great Idea Awards, which encourages media to find different angles and tell us different things. Because the problem with reporting children almost so frequently or more, most commonly in very negative uh, fashion is that it leaves people feeling quite debilitated and powerless, you know, and that's not a good thing because the children that we work with Astonishingly, despite the most appalling uh, conditions that many of them uh, grow up in, they are ridiculously optimistic and they've got a very clear idea about how they can and should and want to see things change. So yeah. one of the things, you know, that we work with children on is asking them to make their own, their own media and what would that look like. And you'll see that they get a nice balance. They have about 40% children and 60% adults. So children themselves see that they've got a role to play but not... More than, more than adults. Yeah, and yet, yeah. as adults, it seems that, you know, we 
65 percent and yet we only give them eight percent of the media yeah which is yeah it's 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 almost a it's an absolute shame because you know we really should give kids more of a voice and should cover those positive stories of what children are doing because you're so right i mean the only time you see kids in the news if they've been raped if they've been abused if they've been washed away in a drain pipe if they've been kidnapped if they've been but there's never like this great story of a kid who's achieved this or done that and we need to highlight those stories more oh, I, I know you mentioned that this is a global problem mm. but are we any slightly better or slightly worse I mean, if we have to compare ourselves to the rest of the world is it possible how are we faring well we unfortunately some of the trends seem to be going down because these things are always about power and it's like the issue of and gender and, and children are very similar in terms of the fact that women account for 52% of our population and yet only 19% of our sources in our media, which is, again, it's a similar imbalance because it's about how power is represented in society. So when you look at, at children, it, it kind of goes up and down generally, but uh, we're not doing anywhere near as well as we should in terms of making sure that they are at least on parity or that there's a, a relatively equitable level of, of understanding of their role in our society. Because mm -hmm. if you go back to the traditional role of media, one of the, the, the great expressions is, is journalism is there to um, comfort the afflicted and afflict the comfortable. Yeah. And more often than not, all those positive stories that we see, they tend to be about the big sports players and whatever, you know. So it's not like men don't get a very good share of, 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 of the positive roles when they turn to for experts. Ooh, myself included as a white man, obviously, <laughs> you know, they, tend, they tend to very often be men, you know, and they very often tend to, there's a, there's a race dynamic to that. And in South Africa, of course, there's a race, power and, and gender dynamic to those particular issues. So it's part of our emerging democracy and about starting to shift the way we understand Indeed. news and who we should actually be, be giving more of a voice to. And if we talk about entrenching our democracy and actually building out our rights we need to actually be giving more of a voice to young people and not less all right william bird thank you very very much for talking to us uh, william bird is a director at media monitoring africa media monitoring africa talking to us about the portrayal of children in the media and uh, that it tends to be only when the news is bad that you'll see a child in the media but uh, other than that they have no voice and that's uh, yeah, that's, I suppose, our fault. We need to change the way that's done. It's 7 o'clock here on the program. Let's get on.